Hello friends and welcome back to Joyful Half Acre. I'm Kim and today I thought I would show you my chicken shed. We call it that because a 4x8 section of it is the chicken coop part and then it's got a 8x8 part of it that is just a shed. Holds all my junk. So I will show you the outside of it and then tell you how we made it for $200. It was very cheap. So here it is the north side. We've got the door. It's attached. We are putting our greenhouse attached to it. And the door we had for free. Not even sure where that came from, but I know we didn't pay for it. The shed itself is a shipping crate. It was two shipping crates. Um, a cousin of mine had worked somewhere and got it for us for free. We just had to go pick it up. So the base of it is just four by fours, like railroad tiles along underneath of it and it's just sitting on top of the ground and then we never did quite finish it we need to put trim on it that is on my list of to do's but hasn't been done yet and we put a vent on this side so that the chickens could get plenty of air and it's not the sturdiest of materials that the crate is made from but I actually have uh, leftover siding from the house that I am going to side this and then it will be fine because structurally it's good it's just doesn't look that nice and we need to put the trim and then here's the south side the roof we got the shingles for free most of them we did have to buy one bundle of shingles the only thing we had to purchase for the entire thing was the one bundle of shingles for the roof screws and three four by eight sheets for the base of it inside this here I'll show you it's just a little box we made We actually at one point had the uh, chicken pen around the corner where the greenhouse is now and that's why I'll show you in a minute there's a board up in there with the tire in front of it but we built this so that so that when it snows in the winter it kind of blocked the snow from going right into the coop and it really did help so I'll go back around and show you the side with the greenhouse attached this side once we're done with the greenhouse I'm going to paint this wall and see there's where the door used to be for the chicken pen and we'll get that closed up better once we get this done it's kind of a work in progress right now all right then the inside I will show you in a moment but first I need to clean the shed it is really bad I have not been in here to clean for a little while. We actually started this spring, but 
I didn't finish. So I'm going to start that and then I will show you the inside. Okay, I've got three huge bags in here of hay that a friend gave me for free. So, I'm going to use it in my cat house to keep them warm, and I use it in my nesting boxes for the chickens. And I'm going to use some in the garden. So this has to stay, but it's in my way. So I'm going to move it out while I clean the rest of it. And then I'll show you what it looks like nice before I fill it back up with these. done cleaning the chicken shed. I am so excited. It's been on my to-do list for quite a while and I've been dreading it, but it's finally done. So I'm going to show you the inside of my chicken shed. All right, here is on this wall, we've got my tools, my shovels and hose. This is some corn I'm drying out for to use for decoration. I looked online and it said to hang it upside down in a bundle and that it will dry to be used. So hopefully that's true. Last year I just tried to uh, just let it dry in the garden, just standing up and then chop it off. And yeah, that didn't work at all. So we're trying it the right way this year. So that's what's on that wall. And then on this side, we've got, I'll come this way so that you guys can see. That's where I've got my tomato cages, which really don't work well for tomatoes. I think next, next year I think I'm going to try using them maybe for my peppers, because we are so windy out here that I think those will help keep the peppers up, because they do nothing for tomatoes. Then i got some fencing that I'm sure I'll find a use for, and my tiller, and my weed eater, and the hay that my friend so graciously gave me, and some chicken food, and some hardware cloth, and so that's what's in my shed. And then this is the chicken pen part. There's up top. Yes, we have to have it have the chicken wire up there, not for the birds, but to keep, see that side over there? We actually had a coon or something get in here and go through there once. Yeah, killed my chickens. So, we that was because we accidentally left the shed door open, but still, we gotta keep them protected. And looks like my son needs to do his chore and feed them, but there's our boxes and Oh, we got one girl in there laying now. It's just a homemade chicken shed, chicken coop from Free Materials. The only thing we had to buy, like I said, was the screws, one bundle of shingles, and this plywood on the floor. We had to buy three pieces. So, that's it. The rest is all free. And see, there's the nice ventilation that they get from their window and that's how they get out to their pen. This used to be the door for their pen but we have it closed off now so when we move the pen. So, Alright that is 
our chicken shed. So I hope you guys liked our little tour today of my $200 shed. I think that's pretty cheap for what we've got. It's got lots of room for my stuff and the chickens and I have room for a lot more chickens. Hopefully I will get more next year. We had more but they got killed. So the coons are really bad around here but it's okay we got them back. But So thanks for stopping by today and I hope you will like and subscribe and join us in this joyful life. Thanks.